nice little vid for you today. I am going to demonstrate for you guys what happens if you use one of these and the voltage is more than 240 volts. And of course, us boys and our little toys, it normally is. So we'll have a look at the hazards that you might expect if you did use it. I wouldn't even use one of these for domestic purposes. Use a proper tester, not these things. So let's have a little look and there will be flames. That is a certainty because I've already done it. <laughs> Here's our screwdriver in bits as usual. 240 would normally be there. Travels to the top of that. It then goes through the neon, through the resistor, through the spring, out to the top, and then unbelievably through you. And then, when there's a small current flow, that neon will illuminate. But the problem is, that neon and that resistor will allow full current flow if you get up to a thousand or so volts there will be no resistance left in that resistor it will jump that and that neon and you'll have the full lot coming out the top of that driver and you'll be hanging on to the end of that wondering what happened number two problem if you drop that screwdriver in the sink or a bowl of water you're probably inclined to take it out put it on the side and forget about it but if that thing's full up with water once again, you'll get the whole lot coming out the end. Not nice. Of course, guys, it's the same thing with these battery-operated um, continuity testers. You'd have a couple of batteries in there and an LED. Again, unwise. Don't even have one in your toolbox. <laughs> Should we bust it? Another test with a replacement finger, slightly more impulse current. In fact, quite a bit more. I popped it. More bumps. Let's discharge this thing first. Oh, it's quite loud. Oh, it's melted. Oops. I do like doing that. I think I've uh, demonstrated that, gents. Ooh, it smells of burning flesh up here. Now then. Oh, up the vaults a bit too many. I'm now going to do the same experiment, but with this screwdriver. Yeah, only a thousand volts, but guaranteed at a thousand volts. I'm sure we can find out what the actual limit of these things are. 
So I think we'll first try it on 8,000 volts. Luckily guys, I have a replacement finger. Let's see if that screwdriver can protect it using 8,000 volts. Not bad. I'd be a lot happier using that driver, I tell you. Well, we know this screwdriver is designed for a thousand volts, and we had it on about eight thousand volts, and there was no leakages. But that doesn't mean to say it's designed for that. Out of interest, and purely out of interest, I want to know what these screwdrivers can actually withhold. So. Uh, I'm going to put it on 15,000 volts and see what happens. Oh, I can hear it. So it's there. And it's still holding that lock back. Unbelievable. It's not meant for that though. But everything has a breakdown resistance. Let's find out what voltage it collapses at. About 50 kV now. 5-0 kV. Ah, uh, doesn't like it. There must be a weak point in it somewhere. But it's where that shaft joins the handle. That would probably feel quite fun if you did do that. Be a bit fizzy. Alright, more volts. Now we've got well over 100,000 volts. There's your weak point. Once that happens, that's it. Throw it away. But that did extremely well. I'm impressed. Better than that silly thing. Well, I don't know why it is, but I still enjoy experiments like that. It is slightly educational. It's a little bit amusing. There's a bit of destruction. Um, now look guys, I don't ask for much on my channel, but what I will ask is that you just play safe, yeah? If you can help each other in the comments, get in there. I'll see you in there in a minute anyway. <laughs> Cheers guys.